What big fucking do with the smoke? I have some smoke left, but I don't think it will make much of a difference. I still think we probably should fire it. It's a single shot. And there's more smoke. Right, won't amount to much. Uh, Who takes the initial move? Vehicles are very, 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 very vulnerable in this state. Still, this is just Marine Corps unit. Right, so, yeah. Sort of suspected that. Just wanted to confirm it. Basically, if we do anything, we are boned. Super boned. So. We absolutely must spot anything that has anti-tank capabilities. Like that. I'm not sure if we should move with the boats too much. Yeah, they're vulnerable there. The problem is that's not really a problem. Because they might be hard to spot unless they move. That's how the system works. Once they've moved once, things change. Okay, we might as well use this as a scout since they don't have any more missiles. No, 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 no. Missile fire came in this general direction. Why the hell does the helicopter look so weird? I think it blends in the terrain behind it. So it gives it a uh, look like the shadow looks ridiculous. Looks like it's stretched out. Yeah, it's it's not in these shadows. It's a uh, it's only on this one. It's an anti tank. We're going to have to risk things a little bit. The biggest problem is we will not have enough mobility to get totally out of harm's way anymore. Right. 
Still, there's probably these little missile teams all over the place, uh, but uh, discovering them is going to be very tricky. Uh, I think there's at least one vehicle target we could fire at. The thing is, it's already been hit, so it's not that big of a threat. We need to focus on other things. Like the Tau team. Might as well shoot at this, we're gonna lose the last shot we have anyway. They hit the move a little bit more, so... Make some use of this. Another top team. One. See if we can shoot down the vehicle we see. An anti air something, anyway. Can't leave it there. Right. So we have to, we absolutely must take down the tower unit before we do anything else. Leaving it without at least suppressing fire is pretty much impossible for us. It's a guaranteed unit loss when we move the ships around. I think we should fire as much as possible with the bows before moving at all, and move them as much as we can. The militia is not going to be a problem for us. Just need to find out the units that are going to be a problem. Right, I'm expecting trouble here. They have to have some proper vehicles. To Tanks. I'm not really worried about the tanks there. Uh, 14 movement points. Uh, I'm not going in there. There's a high, high, high probability that they have something that can. a vehicle based something that can fire at us. So, pull that. Yeah. We might have to shoot at that if... Uh, I don't know if the range is enough. I'm not sure its range is enough to fire at us. Barely, but it might be there. See any vehicles? Hmm... GRPG team, what the fuck is this? Type 70, uh, probably, yeah, it's a similar weapon that the infantry has. Uh, probably slightly better. Point is, it's not going to be some long range missile. Probably. Possibly it's not going to be. 
Okay, I need to actually see what our Chinese Tao team can do. I see the encyclopedia somewhere. I need to see the weapon designation. I'm pretty sure it's just Tao, but uh, gotta make sure. This is a mistake that can, that can cost us pretty heavily. Also, where the hell are the infantry units? This is China, right? Yeah, a lot of familiar looking units. It's probably then under a different name. I'm not sure what it would be. RPG team? No. It's not this. This is uh, probably some version of a Sagar team. No, I think it was Red Arrow. That's the missile that the Tau team fires. Point is, it's not an RPG type of a weapon that the machine gun uh, unit there is going to be using. So that's the important point. Something completely different. Still. Where can this piece of crap shoot? Probably pretty much everything. Everywhere. Uh, these hills might provide a little bit of cover, but I think we need to start moving helicopters here. Basically, we need to start thinking about taking those targets out. See something new. There we go. How many AA vehicles have we destroyed? Two at least. Is it three though? Because if it's three... Yeah, it's definitely three. So there's also definitely a fourth one somewhere. Well, I guess it would be somewhere here, or this uh, area. Either way, it's a bit of a problem. I could send out a helicopter to try to take a look. It is not an easy thing to go take a look at, though. So, I think I would prefer to go high altitude and pretty much stick there. Because we can reasonably expect reaction fire to vehicles we spot at that point. That said, we have additional Super Cobras, which we should use for something. I'm going to do a suicide run on this one. With this one. I'm going to take a look at what's at the topmost hill with the flags. Yeah, that's a lot of vehicles. And surprisingly few at the actual flag. Right, we might not have to destroy all of these, but we certainly need to take out a few.
Ah, someone still had missiles. Fail group. That is good. Yeah. Their destruction alone will mean that if there was something here, it probably won't be able to attack, uh, do anything really on the next round because of the four units destroyed around it. Uh, also, that's four units that could have easily taken out a ship each. I don't really see anything we could really do here anymore. Fire us. Well, we can do one thing. We can basically not fire at all, because that would allow us to do reaction fire. Shit. Yeah, they are there waiting for us. Any missiles left? I think I can see the target though. Well, the answer might be no. We're a bit too far. It might work to our advantage. Because it also means the tank itself is fairly far and it can barely fire on the target. We both we have moved forward might be able to just push back a little bit and it's unable to fire it up. How far did we have to go? Yeah, we barely moved and immediately they up and fired on us. So we can't stay here no matter what. So it doesn't really matter. You losers really don't have any smoke. Well, to be fair, I could have chosen uh, the com composition of my force here somewhat differently, so we would have had something to control smoke in the region. And we did do a lot with the helicopters, so we might take some casualties, but I think we can mostly just absorb the damage, although I'm not so sure about that. Especially if we lose these heavy, uh, heavy, what the hell are these? Salt barges? Uh, each one will sink a, sink a tank of some sort. We can't really afford that. I, I literally mean that because we basically, the enemy doesn't seem to have a huge of force here. Yeah, he has some units and that are, are, are not to put me in a dangerous position here. But maybe uh, some tank, some missile platforms, that sort of thing. But nothing too huge. So if they take out a single barge with an expensive tank in it, I'm boned. Uh, I don't really have a way to come back from that. I think we might have to move units closer though. I mean the helicopters. Because uh, it's clear that we can't shoot so far with the with the helicopters are going to be I think we at least have to move somewhere around here. 
Ooh, he's almost level miss as missile. But uh, he's too far away to really react to any kind of a threat. Uh, he would have to be somewhere around here. And now he doesn't have the shot. Okay. How bad is it going to be? No casualties. Uh, this got shot pretty badly. It has a, uh, I think, a self-propelled artillery here. This doesn't have anything. But it's immobilized. Still, no casualties. Not really. A little bit of damage. That's not that expensive. Yeah, about 12 points of uh, worth of damage. So, we almost lost something fairly valuable. The landing craft isn't exactly free either. Cost of 40. Still, I feel like they gave it their best at this stage, so... We can clean things up now, we are probably good. One tile team, one missile platform, that's it. And smoke will be dropping soon. I'm pretty sure it won't. Right. Things that need to die. The missile launcher. Actual vehicle. How team? Somewhere on the beach. Anyone a little bit closer to it? And use this as a spotter. Just in case there are additional yeah, there are additional here. Okay. Not too shabby. We shoot at targets here. We probably should, except you don't actually have any capability of doing that. Ooh, it had two of these. Yeah, their loss would have been catastrophic. These can move more than they show here. That's 50 moves. But, uh, I, I think they have to be on land then. No, we can definitely land on the next turn. If we are having enough firepower to suppress any of the infantry waiting.
once the next turn is over, there's no real big threat anymore. I'm not sure what to do with the ships. I'll probably just pull them out. That way there's no chance something can go wrong for us anymore. They're out of reach of enemy fire. Even missiles have their limits. What the hell is this? The air defense, right. I really expect him much from this fire. I'm to move a couple of helicopters in to try to suppress things. Once the target is routed, we'll switch targets. There are no, no good close fight targets. I suppose I could just let these units wait at this point. They would return fire if any kind of action starts here. That's not a, exactly a bad thing. Uh, high altitude, right. I want to make sure the close fight infantry is pretty much work. Also, we do need to spot additional targets. There we go. That's the stuff. Uh, someone else is gonna have to shoot at that though. Both have to die, so it doesn't particularly matter who gets them, who shoots at them. They're in way too good of a position to be allowed to live. They're also cheaper tanks than what we've uh, used to see. So, it's another indication that the opposition here doesn't really have the same amount of points that we have. So, something that we need to be aware of. It mainly affects how many casualties we can take. In this case, pretty much none. There might be something in the city too. I'm mostly interested in vehicles, though, not the infantry. As dangerous as it is, it can be dangerous. I have bigger problems. Basic maneuvers. 
at least I didn't take damage, but I'm fairly close to a couple of enemies, so this is not a good place for us. You wasted your missiles, so... Waste your rockets too. Twenty one kills. Nice. Alright, another target. This is a little bit too close to our helicopter here. Not comfortable with this. Same thing here. I don't know what this can do. It's uh, it is a machine gun though, so it would have a fairly good accuracy at decent distances. Uh, the rifle squad might not even react to anything, but this probably would have fired him. Right, he's left a couple of them left. What are you doing? Nothing. What's your buddy doing? Pretty much nothing. Probably lob at least one good missile, though. Were there more than that one tank? Uh, this could go after the HQ. That's not a insignificant target either. If we can get rid of that, that'll help me more than really almost any any other kill. Q's gone. Excellent. Okay, I guess this is pretty much free for all for any target at all at this point. Survivors disperse. I'm going to retain, remain at high altitude. If they had any kind of missile units, they would have used them a long time ago. Uh, maybe I should still keep this one at, at the ready. It would be the only unit with any kind of a missile capability to do something. So unexpected things happen, it might be able to do reaction fire. That's a pretty big EAP though, I'm fully aware of that, but I uh, don't really see a reason why I shouldn't take it. Let's see better things going around here.
that I saw this. This is so close to helicopters, it's pretty much impossible it couldn't have uh, caused some harm. Right. That's pretty much all I can do. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's dead. I don't know what it actually is, but it's dead. I don't see what else I could have really done in this case. I almost lost the L1 Cobra. Probably gonna retreat out of the map, but at least that isn't gonna be contest casualty. We lost... Uh... Something? It's an A1. But there's no A1 really. I'm not sure what it is. 46, 46, we've lost pretty much 100 points worth of stop now. I'm not sure if we can win this anymore. I'm not sure if the decisive win is, win is necessary though. But we might have to redo things from the previous save. But <laughs> evading aircraft is pretty much impossible. This would be reliant on dice roll and nothing else, our survival in this case. And I think we're gonna basically run. If we stay put, we're just gonna be a target for their aircraft. Off the beach. Um, I think we should go for the mission objective as quickly as possible. Holy shit. Zero visibility there. Did not see that at all. The reason I say we should go for the flags is because if they, if they have aircraft, uh, there's no defense against that. So sooner or later they're gonna get uh, enough kills that there's nothing I can do, no matter what, how much I want to. It would get into a tedious game of trying to save and load, save and load, save and load. Yeah, this just had the engineers. It, it is literally just an amphibious APC. I just drops. No, what the hell? Why would I drop smoke at this stage? Right. The reason I haven't seen anything is because every goddamn thing here has a huge amount of units in it. Still, we should have AA units here now. Well, we have one. The thing is, should I stay here or not? Staying here is somewhat risky because the aircraft can be aimed at us very accurately. I 
On the other hand, we could probably make sure that they're the last uh, aircraft that are going to have too many kind of attacking here. I don't think this is uh, going to favor me though. Two expensive craft already lost. Traveling teams. Forgot I had those. Right. So, not much really going on here. It's uh, more of a rush to basically end things at this point. The longer this goes on, the worse it is for me. So, we're gonna pretty much attack anything that comes close by and just try to kill it. Maybe ignore the route it. Who shot me? You? Eight minutes. I think we should move the helicopters drastically every turn too, because of the, because the enemy aircraft is uh, doing attack runs. Helicopters aren't exactly immune to that either. Hmm. Rockets. We go by the road, the lighter vehicles can reach the flags very, very quickly. Especially if they don't have to worry too much about fighting a scene for the every turn. Also, we don't actually have to take care of these. They're at the front line. We already pretty much have went past it, so. Okay, anyone else? Who was on this flag? This is suspicious. I use this.
I'd say the flags are pretty much secure at this point. I'll have to just draw a few nades there, but there's no real resistance on any one of the three flag groups. Certainly enemy units are still there, but uh, they're not exactly defending the flags anymore, or more or less worthless. Still, as I said, there's still some units moving above this point. wonder how this could have been done without the helicopters. I mean, I mean, surely we can just brute force our way in. But if we do that, we're going to get so many casualties, it's going to be... It's going, we're going to fail this anyway. I mean, I, I'm sort of uh, on the border at the moment. Uh, can we get enough points to progress with this? If it's a marginal, that's enough, then yes, we can definitely progress, but if it's a decisive one, I don't know. There's so few vehicles on this, in this mission. Most of the value... well... Most of the value comes from the aircraft, probably, that they have. So, the air defense vehicles... If they could shoot one or two down, that'd be great. Anywho, not like I can do too much now. We'll have to just see this through and see if that's good enough. Mm. We could try the faster units forward the air defense ones, uh, or alternatively choose positions of them where they're gonna stay. One more. They have four missiles each and then we're out. Please stop bombarding. Right. I'm going to just do end turn because I want to see if the aircraft are still attacking. These are the fastest attack units we have. They could reach the flag in two turns, probably take everything. Which is better, going for the flags or going for the kills? Flags, because we can take a huge amount of casualties still. Huge amount of casualties, point-wise at least. And at the same time, it's very improbable that we can actually kill all the enemy aircraft, even if we shoot at them. We have we can do it for two turns, then we're out of ammo, with no way of restoring the ammo. So, it's uh, it, it might work, but it requires a lot of luck. So, it's not a good plan. Um, right, uh, maintaining mobility is a big thing. Because of the enemy air, air raids constantly coming our way. So, we can't hold our position and just keep firing either. Mm, 
What about smoke? Not sure how it would benefit me here though. I'm fairly certain they don't have any resort units. They would have used them already. The best time to use them was when we had landing craft out there in the open. Don't have a huge amount of ammo left either. Just peeking through the windows a little bit. And spot anything. This is mainly suppression fire. <sighs> That's the shortest route, but is it the best route to take? This guy could technically shoot anti-tank weaponry at targets here. So there's some risk in just going there. At the same time we are fairly well protected if we just stay here. Right, you. I'm thinking of keeping two of these where they are, so they would be reacting to any kind of hostiles uh, aircraft moving about. Two would be going for the objectives. Everyone else just full speed ahead. Try to capture something to avoid getting shot by an aircraft. Ah, got one surprises here. We get their command units, they can't call any air strikes anyway.
might be a good reason to go low on the helicopters. If they're flying high, they're easy to spot, so they can call uh, airstrikes on them. Out of ammo. Till this should last for a while. Right, one less spotter. Please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. There we go. Ooh. It's coming at a dangerous angle at us. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, I think this is the basic danger of holding our location here. It's not worth the losses we inflict. That's the fundamental problem. These aren't cheap. Well, they're fairly cheap. But it's a, it's a unit lost with the crew, crew with it. So I, I don't think that's worth it. At the same time, I'm not sure it would shoot at uh, these targets then, so it would kill them just the same. I'm also a little bit curious who actually called in the artillery strike or the air strike. Lucky there. Got hit by a rocket pot, was not destroyed. These are expensive. Yeah, they're like three times the cost of uh, one of the anti air vehicles we are carrying, so yeah. And they're they're basically because they're amphibious, that's where the cost comes from. They're weak and shitty. So on land they're just uh, giant Gigantic bullseye. Oh, no units. Anywho, what can we do? Hello, friends. Yeah, I'm pretty much out of ammo. Might as well scout around, just in case. We should be able to end things on the next turn at the latest. Also, move, 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 move. We know what happens to people who don't move.
There's a chance that these units are also going to be still targeted by aircraft, so I need to keep moving them. How the hell do we take these? I don't want to crash into the buildings. Uh, there has to be engineers somewhere. If not, I'll just crash into the buildings. Not that big of a deal. It likely immobilizes the target, but if we complete the mission that way, it's okay. Mobilize. all the flags here. I have the mobility to get all the flags here too. Aircraft that were basically in on this or the previous turn probably don't have time to come here anyway so we we're in a fairly good position anything that comes our way had to be sent uh, on the previous turn that might have time to still attack us but nothing else will we certainly caused them that can not casualties to end the mission And that's pretty much it. Last unit we can even see at this point. I'm not sure if we need to get all the flags to end the mission. Uh, it, we would prefer it because it flags our points. There's a chance the aircraft will still strike and cause me grief. But actually, why not just test it? We do control everything, right? 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 No, they still had something. Oh shit, we're gonna lose something. Yeah, shit. We get a miracle stinger strike. 
might. They're getting closer than the air units. One thousand six hundred sixty two versus seventeen. Ah, oh. uh, the landing craft doesn't count. Okay, the two landing craft don't count because they didn't contain any actual units. So that's the saving grace here. Still, I think the fact that we shot down at least one bomber also contributes to that. They don't even have that many interesting units after all. 13 vehicles only. Still, decisive victory, that's the important part. Uh, I don't think it, it can't count the points directly. I, I think the relationship to the casualties cost must play some part in it. A single man is not worth 17 points by any stretch of the imagination. I don't know. I don't know how the score is counted. That's another thing. This game, if there was ever a modern version of it, could certainly benefit greatly from the stats being made more uh, transparent. I mean, what is the score comprised of? It, it would allow you to think about certain things in the battlefield where maybe even what's co contributing factors there. Uh, naturally, we con me controlling the flags gives me a lot of extra points, but I have no idea how many. To where is the 17 points of China coming from? Is it the damage? Is it the units that were killed that aren't counted here? Is it the one man only? I mean, I have no idea, and I wish I did. Uh, if we're lucky, this was the end of things, but I think there has to be a city fight for the final city. Otherwise, it doesn't really make much sense. I'm thinking of just getting ex uh, more Super Cobras. Uh, I feel this is a big problem with these campaigns at this point. We're we're at the stage where everyone has uh, combat helicopters, and they're so goddamn good uh, that you you're a fool if you don't uh, get some. Especially how the combat point system is made. Uh, even if you can't afford them initially, which they're a, ter they're a terrible initial purchase. You still have the extra thousand points we have now. And what are they? Like 60 points? 60 points each for Super Cobra, which is about as good as well, uh, combat helicopter as you can get or gunship. They are better, I think. But they're more or less the same. They have similar type of weaponry and similar anti tank missile of some sort. So the cost and equipment might vary a little bit, but fundamentally they fulfill the same role. So are all the ca all of the remaining campaigns going to be like this? I know I can ignore their gunships, but I would be a goddamn fool to do it. At the same time, it wasn't quite so easy when the enemy had a lot of anti-air, surface-to-air missiles, vehicles. Infantry. So China here has been exceptional in the sense that it has had pitiful anti air capabilities in these missions. Right. Don't think I'll really change anything. I mean, we've had no problem with this, and the self propelled artillerians have been genuinely useful in almost every mission, so there's really no point in making it major changes here.
May 5, 1997. The Chinese were surprised by the invasion of Amoe. Your force established the beachhead and is ready for the next phase. Your unit is to pivot up along the coast towards Haicheng. Haicheng and reduce the missile base that has been firing at our fleet. Along the way, you may encounter various units of the 10th Chinese Army. Engage and destroy whatever enemy forces you come across, and secure the missile base, thus freeing the rest of our forces to take a high chain. So this is probably the last one. It's all about the missile base. Advance on high chain. City map. But okay, it's a missile base to clear. It's well, it's not a clear missile base, but it's a uh, some sort of a facility separate from everything else. A lot of little hills to block views. So we'll we're going to have to attack these hills, take control of that, and that basically will decide everything because. From the hills, you can fire at all most targets at the base. So um, that's how it's going to go. Whoever gets the hills controls the entire map. 350 points, no helicopters. So we basically have what we have. Um, this is probably better for the mission itself. We have a lot of anti-tank capability already, but that doesn't really mean much because that's the only interesting thing I can really buy if I can't buy helicopters. We rarely use the ammo trucks, so no point buying more. There might be some benefit in getting artillery, I mean proper artillery. But it would, it's always just the howitzers. That's it. There's a good chance the enemy won't have uh, strike elements at all, so there's no point in buying sand batteries. And I've been impressed with the mobile air defense units anyway. They're usually where the action is, so they're much better equipped to engage the enemy aircraft than the uh, sta stationary surface air missile side would be. Yeah, these are just expensive targets and nothing more. Infantry is borderline worthless because it's so slow. Recon platoon is okay, I guess, but uh, it's not really all that useful either. Tanks aren't all that useful either. So, ooh, what the hell is. Uh, Air defense section, right. Self propelled surface air missile side. I feel like the, uh, the armored air defense uh, vehicle is much, much more preferable. It has less ammunition, but uh, it's simply better, more versatile. Come these with missile launchers. I have no idea even what to expect here. Self-propelled artillery would have the benefit that uh, I can use this as a artillery piece too. But we could maybe try to destroy some of their structures in base. And they have a lot of smoke ammunition, so we can uh, 
advanced uh, in the cover smoke. And it's a delay mission probably for the enemy, which means they won't have all that many additional... They probably have like a half a dozen tanks, dozen at most. And that's about it. Uh, we could buy sacrificial APCs, but sacrificial anything sort of rubs me the wrong way. Something to move the engineers would be a truck. And they're cheap as shit. Three points. So six points for mobility for the engineers. I think I'll just take with self-propelled artillery. We have so much anti-tank uh, capabilities in the core army that it just doesn't make any sense for me to buy such things. It's a meeting engagement. Sort of. But not really. Uh, it's interesting because they probably had similar amount of points to spend too. So they could have a lot of tanks. A lot of tanks. Right. Our goal is to go for this hill because if we control the hill, we can basically fire at all targets. We just need to use the helicopters to. Scare them out of their cover, and then we can use missiles and artillery to turn them into mush. Simple enough. Simple enough in theory, at least. Uh, we might want to think about positioning these. The missile sites there, but we don't really want to spread them all over the place. Uh, protecting them will become a huge pain to ask the point. We want to take this hill and this hill, so we can break them into two groups. Although, I don't think we should do that. Basically, protecting them with the smoke becomes increasingly difficult if I do that. I'll leave one air defense group with them, other comes with this group. Uh, engineers will not go here, I'll send one, one battery of the self-propelled artillery units, they'll have the necessary smoke. I want the infantry in vehicles. Javelin teams. Um, hmm. I entirely, entirely forgot about these guys. Maybe we should uh, leave them here. Their purpose would mainly be to basically prevent any kind of a breakthrough the enemy might try here. And that's it. That's all they would need to do.
Okay, there's gonna be a lot of self-propelled artillery here. Rocks are pretty much the most vulnerable unit you could possibly think of. Easy to target with vehicles, but also will be destroyed by light weapons fire. We could leave up. A... No, we're not gonna leave shit. This more or less just has to take their position here and hold that. So everyone who wants to move forward has to go here. And what do we have? We have four helicopters, so they're going to be of limited use. Also, please don't start at high altitude. Or do we start at high altitude? Actually, it's not really much of a problem. In fact, I think I would prefer it with everyone here. Right. I'll leave things here. I don't know what the enemy has in store for us. It's really a question is, is he going to try to do any kind of counter-offensive or not? Because this is a meeting engagement, technically he might. And if that's the case, he's going to have a huge wave of vehicles coming our way. If not, and this is more of a delay mission, uh, this should be fairly straightforward. Similar to the previous mission, except more target-rich environment. So, get into firing positions and just scout things out with helicopters and shoot uh, metric, you metric ton of missiles into this area. That'll be it. And also... Where's the where's the command unit? Right. We can use these as indirect fire. So once the initial uh, fighting has been concluded, we can bombard this entire area with the indirect fire. Sixteen turns, good visibility. Should not be a problem really. 